So we found the facility. Yeah. But we also need to find the blue tablet, which is where we were, where the Cyclops is, okay? Oh, okay. So we just need to go around that area then. You know the smokestacks? Yeah. There's like a little plant in there, like a mini plant or something. That ah, we need to get okay. that from. What is it? It's a big leviathan! Oh my god! Oh, it's watching me! Did you see that? He's firing stuff! Be careful! He's firing stuff! Oh! It has my prosu! Look at that. Look at the name of my Seamoth. Th this is my. No, no, no. Look, I'm, it's oh, mine. Oh, MK2. I'm going to do trash MK3 then. We got the MK3 in this one. MK4. <laughs> A baby <laughs> right i'm gonna use my heat blade to <laughs> hey, no 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 dude don't don't do that i have enough of that where right. i live maybe or where i was should, from on uh, earth <laughs> maybe we should explain for the people what's going yeah. on here so today is a sad day but it's also a really really cool day okay so we uh we need to be sad okay act sad for yeah, a moment okay yeah <sighs> should we put some violin music but, yeah, on this very sad music yeah, yeah. Oh, sad. Very yeah. Sad. Okay. okay no to get serious for a second so for the past, I'd say, day and a half, uh, we've had a lot of messages from people saying that the mod you can only get so far into before you come across really game-breaking stuff. And this isn't, again, going to be a bash at the mod or anything like that. It's a free mod that someone has tried to make out their own time, multiple people, so friends can play together in Subnautica, right? So yeah, I don't want this great. to be... It's a, it, this is a great mod. Don't yeah. get us wrong about this. Experiencing Subnautica with a friend is really, really cool, especially when you can hear their reactions for the very first time and see things together for the very first time. It's awesome. Yeah. But having said that, what we're doing, <laughs> trying to do the storyline thing, we are going 10 steps forward and then about 50 steps backwards. So to give you guys some idea of what we've encountered so far, the desync is on a level that you guys just won't imagine. You're probably going to see it during this episode, but Seamoth's desyncing. Uh, you're going to see another vehicle that we've got a little bit of desyncing at the moment, or which is like a weird, like, uh, I guess, like wall, invisible wall bug, uh, which mm -hmm. we'll get to. Uh, there's all kinds of equipment that we've gone that's gone missing. There's things on the foundations of buildings like the moon pool and the base as well that are just disappearing. There's a whole load of things. It's just so much to work around, pretty much. It's yep. that's what it comes down to. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, rather than what we were going to do, which is just do a little episode and say goodbye to everyone for this series, we thought we owed it to ourselves because we're really enjoying this and we hope you guys are too. We really want to see what's happening with the end of the game. So, with that said, we're going to use magic. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use magic to uh, be able to progress. Yeah. So in a uh, non-time-consuming manner. Yeah, we're just going to have fun with it. We're going to go yeah. out. We're going to explore. We're going to see the deepest depths of what Subnautica has to offer. We're going to try and work out what's going on with the storyline and stuff like that. This might take one episode. It might take two, possibly even three. But we want to say a bit of a disclaimer. Because we are going to be spawning certain things in just to enjoy this and see everything that the game has together, because we've started it together, we could easily just go, okay, no, we're going to play it on our own, but we'd have to redo everything again, and we're having yeah. so much fun up until this point. If you don't like this type of thing, where people spawn stuff in and, you know, do all that, if, if, you're, if you're so, like, hardcore that you wanted the, the game to be played in the story way this probably isn't going to be the video for you guys because we've already done it as you can see from our hot bar look at this <laughs> got the heat blade <laughs> got, got the go. stasis rifle <laughs> we got all kinds of cool stuff which is actually again it's going to make this episode so much fun if we come across stuff that we're terrified from because we yeah. at least can fight back now and i'm sure you guys can see over there behind fisk the big old tube <laughs> the big old tube so if if you don't like this click off the video or sit on your hands and yeah. enjoy yeah but for those 
that are sticking around and you're going to rock with us throughout this entire adventure. I hope that you guys really do enjoy this. So we are happy that you're with us. To bring you guys up to speed on what we've done, we've tried to upgrade everything that we're going to need. We probably made some hiccups or mistakes along the way, but we've upgraded our sea moths. Whoa! What? <laughs> what happened? What? My, your sea moth just hit me back. I lost ho like a quarter of my health right yeah, there. It's, yeah, it's... Oh, did you see that? No, it's, it's, it's got the... I'm uh... dead. <laughs> Where have you just gone? Oh, it actually killed you. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like nerds. <laughs> your sea moth is poison. Yeah, no, no, it's the, it's the defense <laughs> thing that I've got. <laughs> Back up. It just, it's like a vortex when you yeah. jump in. You it's just like start slime being around. sucked up into a thing, isn't it? From uh, I mean, Ghostbusters. That, that's a, just a few things that you can see. That's It's uh, the stuff that we have to work around. It sucks the fun out of it in a way. Yeah. So It's a shame it we way, couldn't do it in the legit way. And we absolutely, yeah. I promise you guys, we absolutely tried everything before we started spawning stuff in. But... We're still going to have some fun with it. And I'm sure if you guys have got anything that you want us to see now, considering that there's only so many areas that we can see without the game breaking. But if there's anything that you want us to see, in particular with the Cyclops, should we head over to the Cyclops? Because we're going to yeah, have to go over there anyway. Let's do it. Then let us know down in the comments. So, yeah. Right. So the plan for today then, Fisk, is we're going to pick up where we left off. We got the captain's code. We've got the, the, the beacon coming from the oh. island. And there was, uh, there's another one down there, isn't there? The, the gassy habitat. So we need to get back into the Aurora, pretty much. And then, as I said, back to the island, yes? Yeah, we do, yeah. To the, um, rendez the do rendezvous point. This is our baby, though. The big old tube. Oh, yeah, the big old tube. Look so at this. So cool. Yeah. So, can so you, cool. Can you climb in it so I can see you from uh, from the outside? The scale? But, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, Wait, yeah. I'll show you the uh, the docking stuff with the Seamoth. We're going to dock yours, but I'll put mine in there for now, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Also, going this in. is a thing. You can see we have chairs on the side right there. This is something we need. If someone is driving this, uh, the uh, Cyclops. Cyclops, the other one needs to sit on uh -huh. the side or else it will repel you out of the the cyclops and leave you so somewhere else. we've got one of the bugs here right now i can't get into this area i'm completely locked i can't like get just get through this bit so mm -hmm. what you have to do is either re-log or you have to go around <laughs> the entire backside of the cyclops and hope that you will you'll be able to get up the ladders so i'll try that right now just little things like that that's gonna be a pain but come on okay i didn't die nice right we're in are you good you yeah. actually got in that way is that right i'm in my seat oh you're sitting on it yeah I, see I was actually there. really so uh, <laughs> when we actually got this one in, I was so surprised over the size of this one. All right, I'm coming into you. Yeah, that's oh. Godzilla. Oh, I didn't know it had that. All systems online? No, 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 no. It's got cameras on it, so you can see like different Wait, areas of the yeah, the Cyclops. Oh, really? Oh, is that a shield? That's a shield. I didn't dude, even know how that. Alien we, tech, dude. So we know the decoy. We know we can do silent running. That wasn't working before. The, uh, the the cameras and the shield. Okay, I'm glad we got that working then. This is actually really cool. And for those who haven't seen this, look of the size of this. I was just so surprised. Okay, I can't go around here. Okay. Yeah, it's broken. If all you right. go down the ladders and all the way down to the back, you might be able to sneak around. Yeah, so down here you have uh, this loot storage. Oh, it's all dark. Can you? Yeah, I turn the lights off, dude. <laughs> so you get in right there. And all the way around. Dude, dude, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I need, to, I need to test something, Fisk. Yeah? Fire suppression system. Fire neutralization system active. Whoa! Wait, you closed me in, dude! I, I'm closed in. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? Are you okay? No, I don't know. What are you, is he doing? He's putting it's a fire out, up. dude. You're too hot. You're putting a fire out. <laughs> dude. Fire suppression system is active. Oh, that it's is a long... It's actually locked. I'm stuck in here. What have you done? <laughs> that I'm is a long <laughs> Wait, are we completely locked in? Oh, we Can are. Can turn it off? No. No. What did Hold you on. do? I, I put the fire suppression system... Oh, there we system. go. Oh. oh. So it probably sucked all the air out then. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm going to have to get out of the uh, Cyclops for a moment. Right, let me go there. There. Outside. Coming outside. That's cool, though. So it locks off the uh, the different areas, the different, what would you call it, chambers, I guess? Yeah. So, and sucks the air out to uh, just... Ooh. 
Fist, look at that Leviathan next to our dude, Cyclops. That's so cool. The, the sunshine just hitting. The, oh, dude, there's so many <laughs> epic things going on right now. Right. What I'm going to do if is... Why could you put a cab in here, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh! I died. You did not just sprint. I, I took a left. You did not oh. just sprint off the end of that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I should be able to do this. Can you bring Slash some... back. No, no, I'm here. Wait, oh, Wait, you can come back. Can I? No, I'm... That didn't work out. Dude, we're it? so bad at spotting stuff in. Oh, my God. Where I'm are you? The, I'm inside. I, what? Where have you gone? <laughs> I'm out of bounds, dude. Why I'm are you underneath the whole Can you not, thing? like, TP to me or something? No. Why? <laughs> Look for something to TP you to me. My God. I'm just very radiator what, what, right what, now. Why did you go then? Oh, mm -mm. wait a minute. I don't know what to do. Backslash TP. So and then you just went on the opposite side of the planet. No, you do. It, it tells you if you want to go to, back to the spawn, uh, spawn where you died, a point where you died, just right to uh, slash back. <laughs> and now I'm inside Aurora. I did it. Okay, we're in. Do you see Ooh. anything special? Uh. Oh, there's so much cool stuff in here, Fisk. You're really missing out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Captain's Log. Uh, I got a cool Aurora poster. Yoinking that. And Data Terminal. Whoa! Integrate What's that? Data. Escape Neptune rocket. Escape Rocket. I got a little toy as well. I'm going to put that in the Cyclops. All right, let's have a look at this. Time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, a time capsule often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking either the aid of those. What's this? Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule. Did I find a time capsule? I don't remember seeing one. Yeah, I uh, haven't, no. Right, what was the other stuff we found? Uh, vehicles. Neptune escape rocket. Neptune escape rocket. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. So all you're going to do is sit in it, dude. It may be adapted what? to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform, uh, gantry, stage one, which is primary thrusters for reaching atmospheric escape, Stage two, fuel reserve, and stage three, the cockpit. Features one person life support. Oh, this looks like you're staying there, dude. <laughs> dude Short range I'm communication. Stuck in the Aurora. You know what? I'll stay here. You just go and get help if you remember to. Adaptable power supply, orbital shield, and onboard time capsule. I wonder if we could make two. Warning onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Oh. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora call. is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. <gasps> Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be it's capable Neebs. of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really, offline. Oh, wow. Okay. So, just I, before the crash, they're talking about the, uh, the, what was it called? A Neptune rocket there? Yeah, because it needs that's the, the one that we found, right? Yeah, it needs a massive power source, so that's what they were uh, talking. Let me just double check. I've got everything before I go. You watching? Yeah, I'm gonna catch you with my sea moth. No, 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 no! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought you were gonna catch me then as well. Okay, it's really close. I like that. Uh, into sea moth. All right, we're heading over to the uh, the Aurora rendezvous point. Yes, the island. Let's do that. We've got to build that rocket. Okay, so it's a good thing that we're actually doing it this way because that would have probably taken us at least 13 weeks to get all that stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm excited now. That's cool. 
It's only a one it's person. It's really nice because if you think about it, before when we try to just get around all these bugs, you just sat there and wonder what will be next. Yeah, a lot of the people at home will have never seen like the first couple of episodes. It was only yeah. mild bugs, but it put us back like three hours. <laughs> episodes. Yeah, so. it's, uh, it, it made me uh, get gray hair, dude. Yeah. Well, again, lying. again, we want to we want to make so sure we're not like we, <laughs> we're not sticking up for everyone here. We just want to make a point that this mod is completely free and it's made for everyone just to enjoy the game together so like i couldn't do it i don't have the skill to be able to make a mod like this so i appreciate someone even trying so we can you know have a bit of fun in this we're just yeah, the job uh, they made with this is amazing but it's really hard to make a series out yeah, of we're that's just making the, light of like thing. a bad yeah. situation really because we, we've, we've been on the struggle bus a little bit it's been fun though mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well so far unless you keep doing the backspace and then ending up on the other side of the planet be right back. Thronk. Gone. Have you got the sonar in your uh, CMOS? No, I'm, I'm not as, as cool. Yeah, wait, I do. You should have but it, it's yeah. it's not active, I think. If you, uh, if you give it a good... No, click. Just press the slot that it's on. Like, <gasps> oh, one, two, my God. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? What? Yeah. I'm Robocoop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is badass. Yeah. I actually see shit now. So, uh, is this uh, the way the Reaper can see us? He got the sonar as well. I am not commenting on that again, <laughs> dude. No, I, yeah, no way. I'm not going anywhere near that because I, I had about a thousand people saying, Fusty, you know the Reaper uses echolocation to find you. Like, it's not sound. I was like, okay, no. But what I was saying was, like, I just didn't want Fist to make any extra noise. If, like, and then it was like, no, no, it doesn't even use echolocation, idiot. It's just, it's, it's just, just in the lore. Yeah, it's just in the lore of the creature. I was like, oh, okay, I can't win. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not There's saying no anything. Winning. Yep. This is cool, though. If you use the sonar, you can actually see the landscape of everything. It looks terrifying even when you see it. It's probably oh. better not seeing what, what's around you. Yeah, if I use this and I see something huge, I'm going to freak uh, out. Let's go to the, let's go to the dive one. For, sorry, the deep one first. Okay. Oh, the, the glassy stuff. Pod? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's a big old wreck right there. Whew. Wait, are you going down deep? Yeah, I'm going down deep to the 500 meter one. Oh my god, that's so far down. Dude, you're so wild. I am, I am. I've been known to be wild. I would uh, like to call you Oscar. <laughs> Stop it, you fucking... You're such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Fisk, was that you? Dude! Fisk, no, was that you... you? There's something down here with me. I'm here, dude. I'm Fisk, here. Fisk, I'm you. not. I swear. Oh, what is that? Fisk, come here right now. What are you doing? There's a big old, like, octopus thing. Oh, wow. That's so. Oh, well. I don't, I don't know if I can uh, see it. It's just destroyed my Seamoth. Don't come near it. Oh, no. It's an EMP. Oh. Can you see it? Oh, I'm going to shoot it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, ha! I can see it. I can... Yeah, shoot Torpedo it. Torpedo out. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna suck it into the vortex, dude. It's, oh, be careful. It's emitting an EMP fist. Oh, there's a warper here. Are you here? Are you good? Oh, I'm going to the go to the distress call, okay? Go to the distress call. Oh, we're we're under attack. We're under attack. No, no, no. Follow me through this way. Oh my god, the noises. I don't like this. This is incredible. I thought I had control under the situation. I don't. Oh, okay. We got we got a little um, like outpost here. Oh, those things are here again. Those things are all over this place. Oh, ah! do you hear that whining noise? Dude? Yeah, don't let that EMP hit you. Okay, it seems like it's like a, 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 a horizontal a hit. If if that makes sense. If you go a bit lower, it, it might not ah! hit you. <laughs> you okay? I didn't see it. Did just. <laughs> Okay, I need to vortex, vortex this guy. I'm go Oh no! No! Leave me alone! Oh, fish, they're all around this. This is horrific! Uh, Alright, scan and you should be able to see them better. There's, no there's nothing here. I s okay, are you inside? This place has been ripped to pieces by those things or by something. Oh my god, that's. <gasps> I scared the shit. There's something up on top. Though. I'm in there. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, alien containment unit. We got that thing that there people have been saying we can, like, um, get eggs or something. 
Where's the PDA? Uh, in the other bubble. And also, in that room where you were, you can pick something oh, up that we can unlock. That knocks out all... Wait, in the other bubble? There's nothing here. Yeah. Uh, in the bubble, you have a container that you can open. In the other oh, bubble, I have a container. The one that you went into with the first one. Uh, I don't on the see, other side. I didn't see it. Where? Right there. Uh, on In the middle of it. Negative. No container on my screen. I need you in here then. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh my god. In. Right, I'm gonna have to... I'm freezing one of them. Right, I've frozen them. We got we got a window. Let's use it. Nice. Shield gen. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, there you go. Oh, he's destroyed my ship! I'm dead. It destroyed my sea moth dude. <laughs> Get out what? of there, Fisk. Yeah, it destroyed my sea moth. I'm dead. Go, just go, just go, get out of there. Yep. This is life pod seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. This is an automated distress signal. Wait. Life pod 12. Coordinates attached. Warning, life pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location. What is that uploaded. voice? It sounds like you know when you, know when you uh, get Signal one of those you put to your throat. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. This is going to be scary, dude. Yeah, for you it will be. I wouldn't want to be in a sea moth going to this depth. <laughs> After what we just saw radiation, down there. Radiation, dude. God damn it. Keep your radiation stuff on until we need, we uh, we don't need it. <gasps> oh, look at all those fingers pointing at us. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Watch the fingers. Oh, may have to... Are you good? Not really. Those like little mushroom things are really close to the Cyclops. This is so crazy cool, though, seeing you like this. Watch out above you as well. You got shrooms above you. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in the Cyclops. I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> My neck just tensed up so hard right there. Dude, you're in a Super Sea Moth. The Trash Mark 2 or whatever it is. You take out a Reaper Leviathan easy. <laughs> right. 300 meters from target. Oh. 300 meters from target. Roger that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I healed him. Sorry. <laughs> healed him in the wetsuit, dude. Looks like you're... Uh... Go walkie talkie went through puberty then, dude. <laughs> <It's been> okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Destroyed a fish. Oh, I'm hearing some. Hearing sounds? Hearing sounds? Yeah. Yeah. I'm using the sonar. Alright, we should be able to uh, get down from here. Watch out, watch out. Stop, stop, stop. You're about to hit the bottom. It's like big ball mushrooms down here. Okay, I see the pod. I see pod 12 underneath my arm. Yeah, just underneath you, there is a electric Oh, I see it! Yeah, sort. he's on the camera it's now. Huge. Yeah, oh, look at it. Three of, oh, I think they do and stuff down here, dude. That Yeah, they are... Detecting volcanic activity. Oh, watch out. I saw you first. You gotta go and get that. Oh, you're so mean, dude. Why? There's a volcano literally in front of you right well, now. Well, don't you swim that? into the volcano then, you big idiot. You, but on the other side, there is electric eels everywhere. I will shoot you. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Oh, Fisk, you can, I can see the things moving around on radar. Like the actual, um, like creatures. Dude, I'm going to vortex shoot the sh this uh, thing. Oh, I'm being attacked. What? I'm being attacked. Can you kill them? No, you, you're not getting attacked on my screen. I'm being attacked. The Cyclops is under attack. Deploying decoy. Deploying decoy. <laughs> decoy was deployed. All right, you know what? I'm going to swim. I'm going to go for a swim now. 
Almost. I, I, yeah, I need you to get that thing really quick. We're under attack. The, the Cyclops is taking damage. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. I swear to you, we're taking damage. He says creature attack. Uh, just found a PDA here, dude. Okay, nice. Surfacing. I'm gonna hit the decoy. Oh no. Dude, that's so creepy that I was just waiting for them to attack me. I promise you I wasn't joking by the way by being attacked. It was being the creatures were hitting the uh, the structure, the, the 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 hole. Oh, already. Okay, okay, okay. Uh going to the surface, I'll meet you up there. Oh, I can see you going up. That's so cool. <laughs> And we're good. Should I come in and listen to uh, it yes. uh, together yep. with you? Yep, yep. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. Oh. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Oh. Wait, so, so uh, when we scan ourselves as well, we it doesn't say skin irritation. It says actually says infected though, right? Let me uh let yeah, me switch it says to that. that we're infected. I want to I want to scan myself here. Yep, scan ourselves. Fine. Neutralization system active. Whoa. I didn't well, I, I, I I didn't I might have accidentally done it. Okay, okay. Right, it's fine. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Oh, look at this. <laughs> so incredibly cool this. We actually have a, a distress call out there as well. Okay, right. So that's good. Uh, okay, so yeah, you said we had it. Oh, oh yeah, we're locked in or out of that. Yeah, may as well just take a seat, dude, and wait, <laughs> wait around. <laughs> right, we're good. Stand up. <laughs> All right, there you go. Right, let's go and have a uh, little look. See at the distress call. You ready? Here we I'm go. Ready. This is life pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. <laughs> we'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Yeah. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So uh, we need to go down 500 meters now, and I don't know if I'm uh, like... It's going so quick now, so I, it's, it's scary, dude. It's scary. We'll, How are you feeling about this? Uh, we'll, we'll take our time with it. You're the one that's going to yeah. have to go down with the Seamoth now. So it's like no stress, dude. But it's all on you if you mess this <laughs> up. <laughs> There's some kind of like um, reef or something. Whoa, that's oh, so cool. these are the reef that we uh, saw before, right? Can you be my pilot vehicle? I need you. Uh, so these ones, we should have these teleporter guys around these areas and uh, these ones we can hit with a knife and we should get the the blood you remember those right yep yep blood kelp or whatever we're called yep oh uh, those octopus are back no they're here all first. right dude uh if you stay here or go up a little bit the the pod is just underneath us spinning it around be careful oh, okay watch they, out watch out they can chew through your uh CMOS, so be careful i'm uh, i'm going up a little bit So how do you want to do this? You're going to have to go down and try and get it real quick and then come back up. Uh, jump into... Uh, oh, dude, that's so far down, dude. Do you want me to go down myself? Is what are you doing? I'm, I'm further down than you, you big old bitch. Get downstairs now. Downstairs. Get, get down. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I need to go into caves here, dude. No, you don't. It's right there. Oh, I can see it. Okay, I couldn't see it. Sorry, my fault. My fault. Uh, all right. Are we Ready safe here? Okay, we got those eels right here. Got the pad. Nice. Uh, I think I saw something outside as well. 
Hope you're feeling good in your Cyclops there, dude. <laughs> we already got that, but it's nice to know the way we got it from. <laughs> this is so cool, though. This is really, really cool. Do you uh, want to come aboard the Cyclops, or do you want to get to the surface? You know what? This place is cool. I'm, I'm going to come up on board. You can't go anywhere except up right now, pretty much. Uh, negative. You go go to the surface. Go to the surface, okay? Go surface. You parked that really nice right there. Thank you. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Dude, I don't know, like, if uh, being smart in a situation like this is a curse because she knows, like, we got 30 minutes or being just, like, dumb and not knowing and then yeah, you that's just a good uh, point. Go, go away yeah. or you fall asleep. Being ignorant to it could also yeah. be a blessing because you don't know what's happening. If you're if you're really smart about the situation, you're like, yeah, there's no chance of survival here. I can't build yeah. or use anything. Yeah, that's a really good point, right? Should we, uh, we should take a look at the distress thing? Uh, yeah, I see a ship out in the distance. Do you see that? Is that oh. the Aurora? Oh, to the right? Yeah, yeah. It's the Aurora it's shrouded in clouds. Oh, okay. Mystery. Okay. Here Let's we go. do this. Playing partially translated oh. broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. What? New targets unaccounted for one. Wait, the patrol? So it's telling something to patrol like an area? I'm so confused. Is it the is it the gun? I don't know. That's what I was thinking about. But right there, it sounded like he was giving orders to someone. Yeah, it was to relating go orders out to something. Search. Yeah. I got a big smile on my face right now. Yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, excited. Smile. You've been oh, yeah. waiting for this. Haven't I you? really have, dude. Here we go. All right. Oh, it's floating. Oh, I'm coming. Imagine what this would feel like. It's like those skydiving sensors where you can just like yeah. hover in them, but like 10 million times cooler. Just feeling weightlessness. Putting the tablet in? Yeah. Can you come through? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep, this is, yeah, this is what I thought. This is the oh, moon pool. this is where I could have uh, gone in then. Yep, so you would have been able to pull in there. I see. At least that's, okay, so that's at least another way in then, I guess, if, if I can't get that's through that really door. That's really cool. And this is all, oh, this is all unexplored in. though We're now, off. right? Yeah, this is, uh, this is all new. Take your knife out. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Alien weapons. Alien rifle. Scanning it. Oh. <gasps> oh, can I read about this? Yes, yes, read about it. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Oh no! That would be so cool to try that out. So they mean, well, they don't know if they are humanoid themselves. Yeah, but, so. Uh, oh, so they, they could be humanoid in have, nature then. Yeah. You got the trigger and everything. Oh, that's cool. Did you see how it was floating about right there? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just being suspended up, isn't it? We've got another iron cube here. Do you want to hold that? Because oh, you're radioactive, aren't you already? Just Ch very toxic. Chernobyl Fisk. We go up or through this room? Uh, let's see how far, uh, dude. Do you see how far up this go? Okay, let's take the first. Uh, first level. First level first. Yeah. Uh, no, no, down here. Wait, why oh, are you okay. Going I'm up sorry. Then? I'm sorry. I'm excited. I thought you said up. <laughs> you just repeated what I said. 
I'm like, you have to realize as well, it's stuff like this with aliens and stuff, especially with the survival sense. My jaw just hits the floor, so I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 first level first, yeah. Help. Whoa. Oh, is this a phase gate? Oh. This is a gate. This is a gate. This is 100% like gate? a Stargate thing, yeah. Wait. Alien arch. Wait. Oh, maybe not. Alien arch. Okay. Uh, the structure's it, intended purpose is unclear. Theories and functions, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network, further research is required, so they don't know what it is yet. Our mm. scanner can't even recognize this. Shoot that first with your stasis rifle, see what happens. Yeah? Yeah, if we all, uh, if we disintegrate now, it's your fault, okay? Nothing happened. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> I guess up we go. <laughs> yeah, first floor, it keeps on going up. No, I thought I th well, I thought you meant like go up one floor. Oh, why okay, are you being I mean see, to see. me, dude? This is my peace. <laughs> this is my happiness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh wait, Rip can oh, you? What's this? Yeah, grab that one. I guess. Yeah, yeah. If you grab that one, then you've got one at least on your character. Yeah. Nice. Another tab. Cool, cool, cool. Dude, this is so sick. Though. Really is, isn't it? It really, really is. Oh, oh wait, got one here. Thing. What's this? Oh, that's wait. Is that from Destiny? Destiny never played it. Doomsday device? Oh, okay. Ooh. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most what? of the solar system. Fortunately, it's malfunctioned. Wait a minute, wait, wait. It's it malfunctioning. Malfunction. Don't go near that fist. There's, there'll be somewhere you'll stick your finger in it and it'll explode. <laughs> it'll kill everything. Your tiny fingers. Yeah. My Ewok hand just going just, in there. <laughs> let me just see if this works. Scans oh. indicate the facility's control room. Lies beyond this door. Oh, yeah, we need Ooh. to get to the control room. Oh, yeah, that's what they said, wasn't it? Yep, go for it. What, what are you doing? Oh, you did oh, some yeah. really yeah. jank animation. All right. <laughs> I face planted it, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, look at this. Wait, is there water there? Is that like... No, okay. Oh, you were thinking about a pool or something? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Maybe if the, this would be some sort of course that that was uh, the cooling system or whatever. What right the heck? Wait, back Whoa. up, back up, back up. You hear that? <gasps> yeah, did you not see what happened? Walk up the ramp and look at the things on the side of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're activating wait, it, aren't wait, you? Wait, 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 are you ready? I'm going to scan it first. I'm going to scan it. Yep, scan. Oh my God, the scanning is broken. Uh, energy, energy core. core. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Energy core. Uh, this device houses energy equivalent to a 100, 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead. So this is the cannon then. Or bent Why around the planet. so many dangerous things whoa, around us listen for? to this. Or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. So, wait, what? Wait, Power is wait, rooted wait, wait, wait. by the... Did I understand that right? So I uh, did... It doesn't pull around the planet, does it? Or what, what did you say? Bent around the planet's gravitational pull. It bends based on the gra on the planet's gravity. What? Allowing the device to be deactivated if necessary. It's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. That's why it's taking things out the sky. That right, crazy, I don't know dude. what this is going to do. If it's going to open a door, we're going to press it together, though, on the count of three, okay? Wait, on go. You're going to press it yourself. No, because if you don't get through somewhere, if, it op if it's like oh, an okay, elevator or something... Right, three... Two, one, go. Oh, I'm inside of you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. <gasps> Biscuit stabbed me. <laughs> it stabbed me, dude. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Oh. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. <gasps> I, it's we said, said we said that we said yes. so, so the whole entire planet is under quarantine that's why the weapon is taking things out of the sky exactly. is to not spread the bacteria oh downloading summary to data bank okay what's this say alien facility location uh intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet disease research facility depth 800 meters location cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform right remember that fisk okay Southwest. Function. Southwest. Live specimen study. Objective. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacteria. Oh, so they were trying to synthesize an antidote for the Kara virus. 
That's interesting. Thermal power facility. I'm guessing this is where they're all powered from then. Depth of 1,200 meters. Location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area. Intense uh, volcanic activity. Generate energy for all local... F yeah, so this is... that's The thermal power facility is, is powering all of these... Uh, what do you call it? The research uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Off-site laboratory, data corrupted. Yeah, everything's corrupt. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with the immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft. There we go. To prevent the spread of infection. Right, so it is what we said then. That is really, really cool. This though. planet is completely quarantining itself from the Kara virus while something was synthesizing some kind of antidote to cure it then. So are we going to be the saviors of this planet? Wait, so can, wait, there might be a chance that there's still these things here synthesizing an antidote. If they've still got power, they might still be mm -hmm. active. Oh, yeah, yeah. we have to go. Let's mm. go. <laughs> oh my God, Chris. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm such a nerd for this stuff. I love it we gotta so be, much. We're going to be the saviors, dude. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Oh, shit. Whatever you're doing is worth it. Oh, you're really far away. Damn. Oh, Reaper! Reaper, Reaper, Reaper! Oh, shit! I heard that thud all the way here, dude. Surfacing. How you doing? Uh, I think we're okay. I'm I'm almost at the surface. If that thing comes to the surface, I am I'm gonna get nailed from yeah. underneath. Can you? Have you got eyes on it? No. I'm keeping my shields up. Oh no, I'm running out of energy. Cyclops is out of, of, of power. Oh my god. Oh, it's Bird leaking surface. as well. Oh. oh, wow. Fish, you should see this. The Cyclops has got water coming in. Is there a breach anywhere? I wonder if there's... Oh, there is. Oh, that's so incredibly oh, sick. Oh, there it is. That is really cool that you need to go out and find the breach of it. That's loud. Whatever that is, that's got to be those jellyfish things. Oh my lord, dude. Something very, very old. Holy crap, dude. And what is that? Like a moran or what they call those? Oh, look at the head. Keep coming this way. You see the head. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I've seen uh, I've seen people m mod this into the game. Oh, damn, dude. They call it the Gargantuan Leviathan. I, I think this Gong is supposed Genshin? to be it. <laughs> what? Gongenshin? Gongenshin, what? The it's Gargantuan. <laughs> Gargantuan it's Leviathan. Dragon, dude. Yeah, it looks like one, doesn't it? Big old Durgan. This is so cool. Look, three eye sockets. Why does oh. it need eyes if it doesn't even see? Yeah, right? Got horns. Got another uh, area over this way. We are seventh. Whoa, what was that? Those things, they yeah. screech just so you know and you're not getting jumped. Whoa, there's so many different noises down here, dude. Keep an eye on your power if you see moth, okay? <sighs> yeah. Keep an eye on the temperature as well. Oh, there's more it's bones. It's really warm in here. There's more bones. Um, is, is it just really large or is this actually a babu? It's a Leviathan Cemetery. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Oh. Is there a way in? She's just being Captain Obvious, isn't she? It's got to be a way in, right? Yeah, look for a look for an entry point. Detecting an alien broadcast. Oh, oh. Linguistic analysis reads: caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, nice, sweet. 
I don't see any visible way in, dude. Uh, I'm going down. Going around the back of the facility. Wonder God, this is have so to... incredibly cool. I love this. I wonder if we're going to have two uh, divers just go out of the sea Ooh, here. Oh, what is that sound? Oh, I see it. I, uh, on me, on me, on me. You see it? Yeah, there's a little entry point like what we saw on the moon pool on the other one. We got the uh, transport uh, transporters right here. The warpers. <laughs> transports. It's not Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, Okay, oh, we, we got... I think we need to go go out of this, right? Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever oh, nice. their intention, it clearly failed. So if they were trying to keep something from getting out, though, right? As in the Kara virus? Because they were, they were trying mm -hmm. to seek an antidote, right? Tablet. Come on. Open up. I'm just going to get... It's like a little PDA thing, Fisk, okay? Yeah. I'm going to get back in the Cyclops specimen and read research, that. research, that's great. Okay, specimen research data. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference a common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Show symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42. But symptoms quickly reoccur. Shows advanced learning behaviors. Shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other spe uh, spe specimens. Okay, remember that enzyme 42? That's the first mention that we've heard of that. Yep. Leviathan embryos. Dude, they've got eggs of leviathans in this place. Ooh. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. We haven't come across that yet, have we? A nesting site for no, a leviathan? I don't think so. And I'm really happy that we haven't. Embryos show no signs of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs has been retained for continued high-priority research on leviathan hatching mechanisms. Large carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains shows some potential for immunity to infection. But physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified leviathan... This That's Leviathan species good. has been assigned designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from Emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. <gasps> okay, single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility. Oh, it's in the containment facility. Constructed sea in the Emperor. volcanic region at depths 1.4 kilometers. That's 1,400 down, right? Yes. That's, oh, that's what we saw before in the, um, in the notes. Yeah, yeah. While it's unlikely the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data on the aliens' attempts to develop, I guess, oh, the vaccine. There we go. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, right. We might be able this. to do some stuff right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. That is, is crazy, dude. One second. We've got an ion cube. I'm going to pick this up. Oh, we got something in here. Oh, hold on a second. What's I'm going to wait for you. <laughs> Where's it got that? That might be an, be an egg. Where? In here. Come in. <gasps> Look I'm, at this. I'm, I'm going to get my scanner well. out. One sec. Where's my scanner? Give me my scanner. Three. Oh, I can't scan it? Oh, there we go. Egg. Advanced it. Sea dragon. Sea dragon egg. <gasps> sea dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these things as well. Ray species on. Yeah, they're all the different ray species then. So, yeah, this is like a, an area where they dissect <gasps> things. Yeah, got more data down here. Scan it. I'm uh, just going to read about this stuff. Ray species. Oh, what was that sound? Sea oh, dragon this egg. This goes deep. This large egg is held in a her hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen. Integrating new PDA data. It's possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying on incubation process to what end is unclear. Okay, so they were trying to... St a sea dragon? Oh my god! Fisk, get in this room! Whoa! That's a big fish. <laughs> that is a big old fish. 
Can we get in there? What? You I just got, got right. absolute <laughs> chills. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> sick. <laughs> she asked me what I was. Dude. Yes, she said, "What are you?" <laughs> she she was like, "Hey, first to me," and then on your screen, she's like, "What are you?" <laughs> right, hold on. There's a few things that we need to go through there. Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. Yeah, these things are made. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical uh, grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary system has been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized face technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing for the construct to teleport at will. Okay. <gasps> oh, God, that scared me. Oh, my God. That's where it goes. We have to get the, uh, we have to bring the, um, the Cyclops down. Right uh, underneath me right now is where we have to go. Holy... Oh my that? god! Fisk, what is that? That's just attack me then. I can't, I, I, I can't see nothing. Come over to me. Oh my god! That screech, what the hell was that? I'm not, I'm not Ooh. looking around. I'm not oh, looking around. It's dude, that's so cool. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Dude, what is that? It's, it's not, it's not oh. friendly. I'll tell you that much. Dude, I'm so amazed. I'm not scared of that one. I, the screech, but that is beautiful. Right, we're going to wow. have to get the Cyclops down. This is big enough for the Cyclops here. Oh, no way is that a reaper? Oh my god, that's so sick. What was it? I've got a reaper skull here. What? There's a reaper Dude, skeleton. This is, like you said, it's like a graveyard. And through this hole straight ahead, that should be where the reaper skeleton was. Copy that. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, dude. This is so scary okay. navigating this thing through uh, here. This is not where the Reaper was, but if you get through here, we have the big dude to our right. I have... Uh, I'm hitting something. I have no eyes. Okay, the big dude oh, is I coming along. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Oh, God, that thing is so sick looking. This is where we want to go down as well, right? Yep, yep, yeah, yep. exactly. Oh, shite. It's the... Uh, you want to leave your seam up there and get in this with me? Uh, You're going to have to. You don't have the depth. Yeah, I I need to. Yeah, are you are you safe down there? Uh, you, just be fast. I'm holding yeah, up. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, leave it. I'm coming. I'm not moving. Not moving. Not moving. I'm off the uh, I'm off the helm. All right, there we go. I'm coming up. I need to sit down. Right? No, no, no. I'm not moving. We should be fine. Okay, coming off comes. Uh, right. We need to replace the power cells as well. We're down one kilometer down under the surface right now, dude. Oh, I see the lava. That yeah, this this. Yep. Oh, wow. Do you see that, Fisk? Oh, that, that's where we need to go. Dude, the the sonar as well. Bing. Oh, look at that. What is that? A oh, stingray It's another sword. ray, yeah. I'm keeping silent running on. I'm not... Yeah. Like, if any of those blue leviathan things are around, they're just going to annihilate this thing. Just keep an eye on the... On We're the at 1,200 right now. 1,200. Yeah. A sonar. We are on 60% uh, right now. Yep. Do you want to uh, stack that up or should I? Sonar. I've just turned the sonar off. Okay. What we got? Okay. Oh. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Like a robot. What? Dude, what is that sound? I don't know. I guess we don't want to walk in the lava. I've been avoiding it like the plague. Easy does it. Dude, this is so cool. This is so incredible. 
incredibly big. I can hear you waddling around in that <laughs> suit. <laughs> I'm being thick. I wonder what that is. Some kind oh. of mining mineral here or something. It's looks really cool. You see the facility up ahead? Oh, there it is. So, uh, what did you call this? This is the thermal stuff then. <laughs> What's it called, Fizz? <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that to everybody at home is that I must have said it about 20 times and he's still getting it wrong. No, Say I, I what is it? I said a thermal plant. No. This is the alien egg facility. Oh, okay. No, it's not. It's a thermal plant. This is what's theoretically powering everything else, okay? Oh, this Damn. is going to be hilarious because we haven't got any more of the uh, stuff. No, no, I got it with me, dude. Oh, we do? Hold on. I think I might have some too. Whoa, oh, okay. Insert. Wait. We don't have the tablet for that. Wait, what tablet is it? A blue one. Blue one? A blue tablet. Where do we get that from? All right. You know the smokestacks? Yeah. There's like a little plant in there, like a mini plant or something. That ah, we need to get okay. that from. Whoa! Oh, what is that? What the you, dude? Are you okay? What is it? It's a big leviathan! Oh my god! Oh! It's watching me, did you he, see that? He's firing stuff, be careful, he's firing stuff! Oh! He has my prawn suit! Get out as quick as you can! As quick as you can! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, it's angry, dude! Oh, wow! Fisk, I know what that is, that's the sea dragon! Is that the sea? Oh, yeah, look at the eyes! Oh. Alright, my prawn Let's suit malfunction, my prawn suit malfunction, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! Right, hold on a minute, where are you? Right, my thing is glitching out hard. Okay, hold on. Oh, what's, oh, what's going on? Oh my god, he's got a mind of his own. So how many uh, do we need to find, you think? Just one, maybe? No, no, I've never been here before. Oh. I'm just gonna get out of here and that thing is gonna... Where the hell? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, come to me. Oh yeah, oh boy, yeah, this is built inside this. Is there another one or is that the same one? Oh damn, did you hear that? I heard that, yeah. Right, how are we gonna do this now? Because there's nothing really for us to stand on. Uh, this, oh, oh. This is formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years. Oh wow, that is old, dude. This is a, an old civilization. Look at you. <laughs> this is an old civilization. <laughs> Get over there. Going up. Go on, dude. You got this. I'm following you. If we fail, we fail together. <sighs> oh. Dude, where would the entrance be? There's, there's something in here with us. I can still hear that sea dragon. Dude, I, I think that sea dragon is uh, eating our uh, cycle th uh, cycles right now. Split up, let's find an entrance. Yeah, going down. I wonder if you can use the cables to stand on them. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I found... Wait, that's not an entrance. Wait, is it? Oh yeah, this is an entrance. Come <laughs> in. On the side of this, go to... Can you see my... Thing going out. I see ya. So now we should be able to leave this one, right? Uh, do you want to try it? Oh wow! I became so short. Yeah. So this bubbly thing is just uh, closing off all the water. Here we go. That's so cool. They collapse. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Right. Ready for d death? I uh, do. I'm ready to explode. Oh, watch out for that one! De Whoa! What is that? Go and say, uh, alien robot. Hello. Like a little dog. Oh. 
Let me read about this. Alien robot. This device is alien origin, although it, it, its design is relatively simple. One, purpose. It's low threat level. Okay, yeah. Oh, I think it might okay. be guarding. Suggest you intending more patrol alien v facilities. Repair damaged inf- Oh, so it's like a little worker drone. Aw. Construction so is quite elegant. Fine, then. Four electromagnetic legs allow it. Yeah, okay. We should be okay around it. Oh, look at it. It's even got the... It's got the same design as this whole thing. That's yeah, so this, cool. This, oh my god, look at that Ion Cube like collection there. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Ion Cube what? does... No? Oh my god, Fizz, we can pick that up. Whoa. Where are you going to fit that? Not in my prison pocket. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one of these uh, Stargates, whatever they're called, Phase Gates, something. Uh, here we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, purple tablet. Insert Ion Cube You're right here, dude. I'm, I'm putting the tablet in. We need to put a cube in here. I found one. Blue tablet here. Blue tablet. You see it? Yeah. Blue tablet. Da, 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 da. <laughs> nice. Right, where did you see? Uh, right back here. Grab one of those those iron cubes. Oh, you can actually pick them up. You said you could. No, it's an iron stack. Right oh, here. We the, need to put it right in powered here. Powered with them. Oh. Wait, wait. Don't I have? Yeah, I have one. I have one from the there last go. place. Okay. Super underwhelmed, Fisk. <laughs> <laughs> Is there more All of right. these things that we got to put ion cubes in? Yeah, maybe. Let's uh, let's continue down then. I was waiting for something really, really cool. Oh my, what is going on in there? I'm, I'm stealing this cube. Integrating new PDA data. I'm going to read this first before we go in there. Yeah, 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 do it. Terminal data, fossil data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It's been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546B. Extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of the species and forcing rapid adaption amongst many of the survivors. Wow. So there was an extinction event then on this planet? Yeah, by this old civilization. Here we go. Oh, look at that. This is where the power comes from. Yeah, this is the, this is the power. Oh, I can scan stuff. Look, at, look up there. We got some gold stuff. I'm scanning. Gold tablet. Alien thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. Most of the energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the planet itself, each which holds enough power for a small city for a year. Some of yeah. it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it's distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Oh, 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 oh. you're actually just walking in there. What? Do you see the electricity that jump in between these? Take me, aliens! <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Right, do you want to have a little read of that? See what's going on? Alien facility oh. location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Oh, we found that first by accident. <laughs> mm, <laughs> Dumb yeah. luck. Was it the fossil data? Uh, I got another one here. Hold on, dude. Ion power ion data. Power. There you go. It's been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion. Oh. Power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite a huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it's been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. So it's a new energy source. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, 
get inside quick. I shot it. I shot it. Run. Oh, nice. I shot a torpedo at it. We're in. Oh, oh look dude. At look that at it. Is look at it. Look at it. So cool. What's he doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. He can't get through, right? I don't think so. That thing is massive. Right. Blue tablet. Here we All go. Right, do it, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Look at this hole, dude. <gasps> Get up there, double time. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. This scared me so bad. It was powering on. The facility was dormant while nothing was in there. Oh, look at that up there. That's going to go. Warning. Vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg fetching project terminated. Wait. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. What? Wait, so they, they evacuated this place because it didn't work? The, the vaccine didn't work that they were making from the sea emperor eggs? There's relics in here, Fist. Look. Look at this, dude. Look, there, look how many rooms there are. One minute, there's alien objects. You're going to have to give me an hour. Hold on, what is that? Okay, this is an alien building rock. This rock-like object features organic as well as the mechanical parts, and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. Wait, so is this how they made the warpers? It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been fundamental building block of the aliens' technology, or even the aliens themselves. Oh, so this is like, oh, oh my God! Okay, so we're working out where the where their tech came from now. Crescent artifact. What Dude, is this that? This place is huge. Tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside of one of the life forms indigenous to 4546B. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Oh. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may have also been recorded biological data on the subject. Oh. However, the data cannot be retrieved. Wait, so that was in a Leviathan? An unusual box. <laughs> right. Dude, look at you go. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it, while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it's more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it would seem unwise to interact with it. Yeah, just like that doomsday thing you uh, you put in your mm -hmm. pocket. Empty case. Prison pocket. Can we not take the case? Dude, this place is humongous. Oh. <gasps> Fist, get in here. Oh, what is this? Preserved fetus? Ew. Sea emperor oh. fetus. Oh. Oh, come. Dude, this side, this side. Found preserved it's, fetus it's in, a dis face. in a display case. Like, I can see it on the, uh, on the PDA. A child from the adult specimen contained within the facility. Oh, it's, she, it's here. Oh, she's actually in here? You got uh, an egg here as well? Physiology. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing, so it was pulled oh. out of its egg. Yeah, that's Stunted the egg then. Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. Analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure from the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive... So enzyme 42 is what they were using to synthesize cure from these things with, uh, oh. with what they had. Where's the egg? Uh, right in front of me. Here. Okay, we can't scan that. So that's what it was ripped out of and that's how it died. Self scan. So that means we might be able to. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin oh. and pulmonary system. Oh no. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh god, have you? S oh yeah. no! What's this? What's going on? I... Oh my cat! Oh, we're not doing good, Fisk. We are not doing good. There was an animation that just popped up on the screen of his hands, like the Kara virus was like oh. bursting through his skin. Oh, you got the green stuff on you? Bacterial infection report. You have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It's currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time, two weeks. That's all we've got. Your immune you system- drink toxic water again? Your immune system is currently combating the infection at lower uh, efficacy. 
If you may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation, likely exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Okay, yeah, we're getting really sick. Recommended steps, salvage further alien research data, possible vaccine, investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhabit this. Oh my God, okay, we need to find a way out of here quick or off this planet or we're dead or a vaccine. dude you ready i'm ready dude i found this tablet no way did you find this tablet dude <laughs> i'm just gonna slap it right in they dude. just left one there for us yeah super kind you know nice all right let's do this let's do this dude it's <laughs> so fast what Look at the look at the ceiling. Look at that. Yeah, this is super super cool. I would love to know more about the uh, the housing of this. Wait. Oh. I wonder what the things like. I know you said it could be humanoid, but that not, it's not necessarily talking about the uh, uh, this thing because the ones that are working or they're doing the research on this. That's this what should I'm... be a, yeah. They, they are not here, are they? Oh, well, I was going to ask. I wonder what they look like. Yeah, I really do want to know what they look like. Right. I would assume. Don't you think they would look like the Reapers or Rappers or Warpers or whatever they're called? Rappers. Yeah. They're spitting some bars there. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. <laughs> Get in the water. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, let's do this. Oh. Wait, what? Just leading back outside? Wait, what is this? I don't like this. Oh yeah, look at that. <gasps> oh my Whoa! god, that made Whoa! me jump. Behind you, dude. Oh, look you. at it, look Did at it. That? Oh. Are you here to play? No! Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we Whoa. have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Oh, she's so cool. I love that voice actor, but what is she talking about, dude? Are we good or bad? We're so good. Uh, hold on a second. I'm just grabbing some air. That took, dude, that scared right. me so bad when that bang happened. I, I need to, uh, yeah, dude, I'm going to hold a weapon here. So this is no, this is her. This is her containment facility. Then this is where they were housing her. Uh, where are you? I'm underneath. I don't see you either. You're. Oh, you're there. Oh, there. Wait, hold on. I'm. I'm gonna have to get one of the. Uh, there we go. Put that on are there. Are we able to let her out then? Yeah, I don't know exactly what we gotta do. Can we shoot these? Oh, look at her though. Oh God, she's enormous. Dude, have you seen the size yeah, of the she, creature? She's huge. Wait, are you on her? Are you right in her? I... <laughs> dude, dude, look at her arms. She looks like the rapper off. The warper? The <laughs> oh my god, you and names. The warper. There's a gate here, Fisk. Dude, we're actually swimming with her, yeah? We need to let her free. She's not going to fit through the gate. Oh, what are these? The wait, wait. scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life oh? form. Which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear. At this time. Oh no no, it's not unclear. Actually, passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Oh, she's making the predators passive because she's good. Really? And it said about the ecosystem. It's it's thriving. Whoa, what's she doing? Oh, no, we need air. Oh. What's she doing? She's sitting down. She's... Oh. Wait, did she just bonk? Do you need air? Uh, I'm all good, dude. How much air do you have? I mean, uh, sorry. 130? I'm scanning something. Okay. Oh, my God. What's going on? All right, I'm coming up to grab some air then. All right. So uh, her enzymes that she's releasing is making this area like a good place to live in and, and the predators are, are backing off. 
because she's so making them cool. calm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, slap it, dude. Oh, slapped it in. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. Oh. oh the others built a passage to reach the world outside. This thing? I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Oh! So if we cooperate and release our kids, we actually get the, uh, the antidote. Okay. But when she releases the kids amongst the world, won't that, like, release Enzyme 42 and cure it anyway? Or is have we still yeah, got to synthesize a, uh, well, a thing? Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Incubator. We need to release the babies, though. Right, there's the incubator. Emperor specimen eggs hatch from some sort of incubator. Normal life cycle with extensive information. The sea emperors themselves may be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you seeing this? The th wait, the... She just... Wait, what's that? She just blew the sand off the, off the gate thing. Oh, she did! Wait, put a cube on that. I don't know if I have any more. Yeah, I don't have any more. Have you got one on your uh, prison uh, pocket? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to go through there to get the enzyme and bring it back for it to free oh, her. Oh, probably. That's, that is such a cool creature, though. Oh, no, 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 don't. No. Oh, 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 we're going. Hold on, we're going. Right. Follow me, Fisk. Let's go. This, what's With the do? Oh. you opened, my young can leave this place. I'm talking to her. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Oh. Oh, the hatching enzyme. We got that. Yeah, we got it. And they tried so because so they were against her pretty much. She didn't want to help them. Yeah. All right. So we need to get out then. Right, have you gone? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Advanced theory. See Emperor life cycle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural life cycle. Uh, the creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to face to face to feed on the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallow waters. Family size was strictly limited by available food supply. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps once a lifetime event. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of bacterium decimated life on the planet and this would have had a catastrophic effect on the Emperor's food supply. Oh yeah, that's true. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterium infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the Emperor alive survived with its help. Yeah, because it, it said that before, didn't it? Everything, it helps everything else. The ecosystem helps mm -hmm. everything else. Right, are we ready to do this? We're ready to do this, dude. Imagine if she eats us off of this. <laughs> That'd be the best ending Nom? ever. <laughs> right, we gotta put the stuff down in the... Uh... You know what? This has been your thing. I think you should put it oh in. Oh my god, dude. That's so loud. <gasps> Sorry, what was you saying? This is all you, dude. You've been a huge fan of this alien stuff, right? So it's... Oh! Fisk! I smashed the enzyme around the area. Oh, look at that! Look at the babies! Oh, look at them! She's looking at him. Aww. <gasps> yeah, she's just tricked us into this. The, the, the babies yeah. are going to eat us now. We're there's food. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be the food, dude. That's so cool, though. Aww. Look at her. What she... a, pr a proud mom. Look at your babies, mama. Need a drink. All too much. I'm going to need oxygen. <laughs> yeah, why are you taking your time? She's just staring at her babies. Right, let's go get some air while she's staring at her kids. Oh. What? Is that her breathing? Have you tried to get close to her? I'm sh I need air really bad. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, they came through, Fisk! Come through! Oh! You hey, see them? Ones. Yeah. Hey, little guys, what are you doing? <gasps> Whoa! What's that? Concentrated enzyme 42. Oh, that's it! You're Touch it! <gasps> I put my finger in it! Oh, dude, I'm going around in it. Oh, he's curing my stink! Oh! <laughs> I've never been so clean, dude! Oh! Dude, so now we're gonna be able to make the rocket and just fly home? Oh, so th these little things are gonna, like, be dropping this Enzyme 42 everywhere and it's gonna cure the planet. Right, yeah, yep. so... That is so cool. Let me take some of that. No, oh. no, no. You keep the stank, aren't you, dude? You deserve the stank. No, I just wanted to steal something. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, we're cured now, right? Yeah, let's so we should be able to make the rocket and fly home now. Oh, no? hell yeah, we're doing that. Right, let's get on the uh, island here. Let's scan ourselves and then head back to the pod area and we'll make a platform and rocket and get off this bitch. Yes. Woo! on the rocket name is booster no it's called fisk oh is it on yours right let's change yeah. it to uh, the uh rocket there we go that works <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy. wait can we not how do we get into this oh then? we're idiots we're gonna climb oh, the, the elevator thing. yeah dude if i just lie down right here in the middle and you just crisp me wait wait i'm gonna wait for you because i think we go up together all right I'm here, dude. This is a big old rocket, though. It's yeah. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh, no. You're getting sucked <laughs> into the floor. Oh, look at this. Here I feel like go. an astronaut. Yeah, we are an astronaut. And Ground I'm entering it. Control to Major Tom. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> oh. Auxiliary power unit. Hold on. We got some stuff here. Communications okay, open storage. Don't click wait. anything yet, okay? Don't click anything yet. Let's let's climb up into the uh Wait, we we got so many things to Yeah no. Oh look at the look at that in the middle click Fisk climb up the um thing. Oh wow. Boot up primary CPU. Prepare. Okay, 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 okay. Activate life support. Alright. Stay there. Can you can you make a a seat? No. With the habitat bit, why? Wait, let's see. What what do I need? I think I'm not able to... No, I'm not able to put it down. I just need to stand here when you go on. Okay, I'm priming stuff. Hold on. Oh? Okay. Okay, I Tell see. Tell me what I you see. can see on the heads-up display. Online. Uh, you got the, the power unit on. The communication on. Pressurizing uh, hydraulics. Hydraulics, yes. <laughs> hydraulics? Right, what else do we need? Okay, right, we need the life support system, time capsule. No, Ugh. wait. I'm booting up the primary it. CPU. Yeah. Primary computer systems active. Okay, that's active. I'm I'm preparing the. No, I'm not the time capsule that can wait. Life support systems. Nominal. <laughs> that's not how you do it. You're yes. Putting your head into Look it. Look at the, yes, life it is. Look, I'm researching. Systems online. Okay. Are you excited. I'm um, prepared time All capsule. Wait, what? Go for lift off. <gasps> what is this for? Cannot launch rocket while quarantine. Enforcement platform. Oh, Mr. yep. Active. Look at that. You see that? Launch rocket. We can't. Look it. See what happens. Got to disable it, dude. Here's where it says you're still infected. Oh, get your eyeballs out of me, Fisk. Dude, no. Whoa. Oh, it's right. Oh. Are we clear? Oh! I just punched it, Fisk! <laughs> it hurts! Oh, there we go, yeah! It there we go, the core's down! Oh! It's disabled! <gasps> Run! We, we disabled it! It's gonna explode! 
Oh, what? Run! Oh. What's oh, happening? Listen to that. Why is it making that noise? Oh, I used the little um, hoverfish. Ready. Here we go. Time capsule ready. Prepare time capsule. Wait, how do you send it out, though? Time capsule you, well, you, you need to put the picture in. I did. Okay. Yeah, then it's it's all, all finished. Oh, right. You want to click it at the same time? Shall we? On the same time. On go, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go. You doing it? Yep. We're yes, we together. did it together, dude. Here we go. Oh, deep boot. Oh, deep Ready boot. to launch on oh. command, Captain. Launch in. We're going, oh, fist. Nine, Imagine how eight, nervous. Oh, whoa. Seven, look at the birds. Six, oh, we're going to fry five, them. Four, three, two, one. Oh, dude, you're all over my screen. <laughs> Time, Captain Jettison. Oh, the breathe field. field. Oh, field. oh. Oh. Oh, no. Orbital debris field clear. Ooh. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Oh, look at look that. Look at that. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. And there we go. Subnautica. What cool ending that was! Did you that enjoy was it? Really, yeah, that was really, really cool. I got chills. Yeah, when we it was were about awesome. To go in, yeah, that's really, really cool. So, first things first, we know. Well we done, know, Steve. Before we, <laughs> before before we go back, pat ourselves on the back. We know we use like the the spawning things in and stuff like that. We only did that though again just because the mod was broken. Either way. We wanted to use this to experience the end of the game because otherwise it would have just been a straight cut and then we would have stopped doing the series. And I'm so glad we did that, honestly. If yeah, we hadn't have finished this, we did this yeah. I would have been so upset that we didn't do that. Everything from seeing different biomes, driving around the different vehicles, the whole experience of going down in the Cyclops and the Seamoth together <laughs> in that like... The only thing with that, the only thing we didn't experience was the grinding to find all of this stuff. That's... Yeah. That that's it yeah it is part of it but obviously with us using a mod to do the multiplayer thing it's gonna happen but either way it was amazing and i'm so glad that we did it so if you guys enjoyed this <laughs> please tell us you did because this has been hours and hours of getting this trying to work so if you guys enjoyed this please drop a like on the videos it means a lot to us subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with everything and we will see you all <laughs> in the next one! Welcome home to all Terra. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. Of <laughs> one trillion credits? What did you do?